question, we've got two functions, f and g. f is the modulus of 2x subtract 5, and uh, g is natural logarithm of x add 3. State the range of f. Okay, uh, now th this should be quite straightforward for you. You know that the modulus graphs, when you take the modulus of a linear function, if this was 2x subtract 5, it would look like something like this. Okay, if we're just trying to plot that, first of all, that would cross there at negative 5, and it would have a gradient of 2. But because it's modulus, everything underneath uh, the axis gets reflected up. So actually, we have something that looks like that. And it would actually cross here at 5 here. Okay, so that's what this graph will look like. It will look something like that, and it will have... Um, where this is equal to 0 is where this is equal to 0, which would be 2.5, I think, or 5 over 2 there. So 5 over 2, 0 will be that coordinate, and 0, 5 will be that coordinate. Now, clearly, the range of this graph is f of x is bigger than 0. You should be recognizing that, and it's one mark. That's why it's only one mark. I made the slight mistake there. It should be bigger than or equal to 0. Obviously, it can equal 0 at that point. Now, evaluate f of g of negative 2. So I'm going to do these down the side here, just some of the easy ones. So firstly, g of negative 2. Well, I'm going to substitute negative 2 in here. So that's the natural logarithm of negative 2 add 3, which is natural logarithm of 1, which is equal to 0. So f of g of negative 2 is f of 0, which if you put 0 in here, is the modulus of 2 times 0, which is 0, take away 5. The modulus of negative 5 is simply 5. So f of g of negative 2 is equal to 5. So I've done those first two parts there. Now we're asked to solve the equation f of g of x is equal to 3. Give your answers in exact form. So I'm going to actually start doing my working underneath. So f of g of x is equal to 3. f of g of x is equal to 3. So... Let's put a g of x into this one. So this would be the natural logarithm of 2. So 2, natural logarithm of x add 3, take away 5, is equal to 3. We're going to solve that. Now, when you're solving a, a function of x equal a number, like k, you solve two solutions. You solve when f of x is equal to k and when f of x is equal to negative k. So in this case, we're going to solve two equations uh, and we're going to get two separate answers. We're going to solve the natural logarithm, uh, two natural logarithm of x add 3, take away 5. We're going to solve that equal to 3. And we're also going to solve two natural logarithm of x add 3, take away 5, is equal to negative 3. And they're going to give us two answers. Add 5 to both sides, divide by 2, take exponentials, take away 3, one answer. Add 5 to both sides, divide by 2, take exponentials, take away 3. And there we go, we've got our answers for f of g of x is equal to 3, and we've given it in exact form, we did not decimalize it. That part now, part, uh, part d, show that f of x equals g of x has a root in the interval 3, 4. So we're solving f of x equals g of x, so uh, our f of x was the modulus of 2x subtract 5, and we're solving that equals g of x, which is the natural logarithm of x add 3, like that. And we want to show it's got a root between 3 and 4. So what we do in these cases is we make one side of the equation equal 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 2x subtract 5, modulus, take away the natural logarithm of x add 3, equals 0. And I'm going to call this thing here, this whole thing here, a different function. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it something like, I don't know, h of x or something. Now, to show it's got a root, if I evaluate h at 3 and I evaluate h at 4, if I get a positive and a negative, a change of sign, this function has a root. 
in between that and therefore there is a solution to this in between that. So let's work this out. So we're going to put in 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 take away 5 is 1 and the modulus of 1 is just 1. Take away the natural logarithm of 6. Okay, and we can work that on the calculator. So 1 subtract the natural logarithm of 6 is negative 0.79. So negative 0.79. And if we put 4 in here, 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. 8 take away 5 is 3. The modulus of 3 is just 3. Subtract the natural logarithm putting in of 7. So take our calculator out and we say 3 subtract the natural logarithm of 7 and we get the answer of 1.05, so 1.05. So therefore, since h of x is continuous, h has a root between 3 and 4. So therefore, therefore, um, our original f of x equals g of x has a root between 3 and 4. Just to note, it's very important you say the following. You must say continuous. You must say um, the change in sign. So actually, I should have even really put in that word, even though I had worked out a change in sign. You should say change in sign. You should state change in sign and then state, therefore, h has root and so f of x equals g of x has a solution. Okay. Use the iterative formula as follows. With x0 is 3, find x1, x2, x3, x4 to, to four significant figures. So let me just take a screenshot of the last two and I'll do them at the bottom. So... Here we go. We're using that iterative formula here. So we are told that x0 is equal to 3. So calculator out. State 3 equals like that. Now it remembers it in the ants function. Now you copy this function here. So you go 1, 1 over 2. And you have brackets. And you do 5 plus the natural logarithm of your answer plus 3. Close brackets like that. And that will iteratively remember your answer 3, put it in, and then your next answer and put it in. So press equals and you get that. You're supposed to give your answer to four significant figures each time. So uh, this would be 3.396. So this would be x1 would be 3.396. But pr just press equals gives you your next one. 3.4 8 rounding, so x2 would be 3.428, and the next one, uh, press equals 3.430, so x3 would be 3.430, and the last one, press equals again, 3.4301, so x4 is 3.430, okay? Uh, 0, 1, so 0 like that. So they are all um, uh, the answers to four significant figures, so that's for the first bit. And for the last bit here, show that x4 is the value of alpha to correct to four significant figures. So we think that 3.430 is right to four significant figures. So what you need to do is go up a little bit, 3.435, and go down a little bit, 3.4. Uh, 2, 5, and what we need to do is substitute this value and this value into our h of x function here, and if it's got a change of uh, sign, then we know that it's got a root. So uh, it said, because it said this iterative formula here uh, to solve the equation, we it's to find alpha, and to find alpha, we put in put in these two numbers into our h function here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out h of 3.425, we're going to work out h of 3.435, and we're going to show there is a change of sign. So our h function was this one here, which I'm going to take a snap of here. Uh, 
going to take it down here and just place it there. So we're going to work each of these out. Now what I would do in this case is I would take my calculator out like that and I would uh, absolutely just type it in on the calculator. Look at the modulus of something, you use the absolute button and the absolute button is here. So you go absolute value of 2x take away 5 like that and you subtract the natural logarithm of x add 3, so x add 3, and we're going to calculate that at 3.425, 3.425, and you get negative 0.01, so negative 0.01, did I say? Yes, and if you now press calculate 3.435, you get a uh, 8.24 to the negative uh, 3, so 0 0.008. So then you say, therefore, um, root between uh, 3.425 and 3.435, therefore, uh, alpha equals 3.430 to four significant figures is correct. And we're done for this question.